Read your cards carefully. He's knocked out. Colorless. Dragon. The middle Fairy. era is 2002 to 2013. Fighting. Sound it out. Psychic. The pre-modern era is 2013 to 20. You must immediately advance. Is 2020 to present. All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Neil. I'm Katie. And we are Higher Education. Okay. Hey, hey, everybody. Uh, Jay here. I'm just talking about my middle era deck. Um, as you can see, it is water. It's water type. Um, one of my favorite things about this deck <clears throat> is the Vanillaite, Vanillish, and the Van the Vanillux family. Uh, I love that in Fountain on Vanillux lets you attach two basic energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So like, I could put up Vanillux there, have that, you know, that's good. And then I can attach two basic energy cards onto my Bear Tick, um, which gives it like a quick type of thing. But before I use that attack, I could, for example, put a water type Pokemon, water type energy on that and then have instant two and then put that, like, use like a switch or a treat or something and then put that up, boom, dominate. I mean, dominate for a little bit. I mean, yeah. I love Assault Vest because it says any damage done to the Pokemon's cause attached to by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them is reduced by 40 after applying weakness or resistance. I absolutely love that because some decks have special energy cards and you know, um, that could really help you out. Especially if it's like a, like a wool box Pokemon and you put a, and it says like discard an energy then boom, there's a special energy on that. Instant resistance for 40 damage. Love it. I haven't really gotten to use Articuno, so I'm really interested in how this will turn out, how Articuno will turn out. Uh, because it says, for Sharp Beak, flip a coin if has this tact is 30 damage plus 10 more damage. That's 70 damage right there if you get heads. And for Ice Beam, flip a coin if heads the defending Pokemon is not paralyzed. I think this would be, Articuno in this deck would be a good jab Pokemon where you keep hitting as much as you possibly can. Um, I, Lapras is like a type of jab Pokemon as well, except it does damage to itself. So I'm not really fond of that one. But it is a good Pokemon to like stall because of its high HP. Um... If you need to stop for a couple turns, you know, if you need to get energy. Um, but Professor's Letter will help you out right there for energy. Uh, Professor's Letter will do that for sure. And plus power is good too because there's an extra 10 right there for the attack. Especially for your basics. I mean, if you need to deal an extra 10 um, for that Pokemon that only has 10 HP left or 20 HP left, then boom, there's 20 for you. Um, so yeah. Anyway, here's my deck. And thank you for watching. All right, this is my middle era Team Plasma deck. You can see most of the cards are Team Plasma cards, so they have a lot of good synergy. It's really built around the two Deoxys EX here, who are relatively weak, until you can attach a plasma energy to them. So I have four plasma energy. And what Deoxys EX does, if this Pokemon has any plasma energy attached to it, this attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. So it goes from 30 base damage to 30 plus 30 times the amount of energy attached to the defending Pokemon. It's a big change there. Giratina is a strong basic that's a Team Plasma card. I've got two Team Plasma Evolutions, one Glaceon, one Leafeon. And for that reason, I've got a mixture of some grass and 
water energy over here, and then the rest are psychic energy. One double colorless. I have a non-team plasma venipede, whirlipede, scolipede family. And that is really to take advantage of the fact that they can poison because I've got two hypnotoxic laser that cause poison. And then I have Verbank City Gym, which increases the damage taken by poison during the between turns phase. Frozen City damages any non-Team Plasma Pokemon anytime it has energy attached. And I have Team Plasma Badge that can make any of my non-Team Plasma Pokemon count as Team Plasma Pokemon. Several of the other trainers deal with either searching for Team Plasma Pokemon, like Plasma Ball, or putting any Team Plasma card from your discard pile into your hand. Shadow Triad does that. I do have as a non-Team Plasma card one of my favorite all-time supporters, Interviewer's Questions. And that is because she lets you look at the top eight cards of your deck and choose as many energy cards as you find there and put them into your hand. So overall, this deck has really good synergy and I'm excited to see how it performs in battle. All right, let's get started. You wanna call it? Yep. Um, Tails. Okay. All right, it is Tails. Do you want to go first or second? I will go first. And that actually makes sense because we're playing Middle Era, and actually there's no first turn restriction in the Middle Era. None. So you can attack, you can play supporters, you can do whatever you want. Okay? So you're going to go first. Seven cards. Kidding me, dude? You're joking with me right now. You have a mulligan? Yeah. <sighs> I wanted to leave the surprise though. Nope, you have to reveal your hand. Vanellux and Vanellish. Ah, so that's what this deck is built around. Okay. Well, after I'm done setting up, I will draw a card. An extra card, but first I have to set my prizes. Not that we've never done that before. Definitely started a game <laughs> without setting prize cards. That's a problem. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Are you going first? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. I'm attaching an energy. And I'm going to play Professor's Letter. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Okay. They were not on the bottom of my deck. Yeah. Be uh, pretty lucky if you had both of the cards you were looking for right at the bottom. Okay. Putting his deck sideways to remind himself to shuffle before he draws any more cards. Yes. And then I'm going to use Sniffle. During your next turn, this Pokemon Pokemon's attack, po this Pokemon's belt attack, base damage is 40. 
Hmm, okay. All right, I'm gonna draw a card since that was an attack. I'm gonna play Bill's Maintenance. It's a supporter card. If you have any cards in your hand, shuffle one of them into your deck, then draw three cards. I'm drawing three cards. Let's just get this party started. Hyp Hypnotoxic Laser. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active po Pokemon is also asleep. If heads, you're also asleep. Tails, you are not asleep. <coughs> okay. And... I'm going to go ahead and play Shadow Triad Supporter. Put a Team Plasma card from your discard pile into your hand. done my one energy attachment I don't need to do anything else right now so uh, I don't need to use poison sting because you're already poisoned so let's go ahead and end my turn you take 10 damage go ahead I'm going to attach an energy to my cub chew. And then finally, I am going to evolve my cub chew into bear tick. Okay. Nope, he's not poisoned anymore. <clears throat> During your opponent's next turn, any damage done by attack from the defending Pokemon is reduced by 20 after applying weakness and resistance. And it is 40 base damage. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's less than ideal. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna play Hypnotoxic Laser. He's poisoned. Not asleep. I am going to play Team Plasma Ball. Search your deck for a Team Plasma Pokemon. <laughs> reveal it and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So let's see what's in here. Leafeon. Team Plasma. I'm going to go ahead and evolve Eevee. Set my deck sideways, attach a grass energy to Leafeon, and I will end my turn. Takes 10 damage for a poison. Yep. I'm going to attach an energy to my bear tick. And now I am going to use Ambush. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 more damage. It does. Therefore, he is knocked out. You take 10 more damage from poison. Yes. During the between turns phase, I am knocked out. Advance Leafeon. And draw a card. Team Plasma Gun Grunt. Discard a Team Plasma card from your hand. If you can't discard a Team Plasma card, you can't play this card. Draw four cards. I'm discarding Hypnotoxic Laser, you're already poisoned. 
playing Team Plasma Grunt, so I'm going to draw four cards. One, two, three, four. Okay, put Venipede on the bench. I'm going to play Team Plasma Ball. Search your deck for a Team Plasma Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Deoxys EX. I'm going to put him on the bench. And I'm going to attach a Plasma Energy to him. And then I'm going to use Energy Crush. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. So 20 times 60. 3 is 60. So you take 60 more damage. And then 10 damage for Poison. So he's up to 100, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use Skyla. Search your deck for a China card, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Revealing. Revealing it. Ooh, Assault Vest. What does it do? Hmm. Well, I guess you don't have to tell me yet. Yeah. Just read it when you play it. And I'm going to turn around and use Ultra Ball. Discard two cards from your hand. If you can't discard two cards, you can't play this card. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Discarding two cards. Okay. Revealing it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to attach an energy to Vanillux. And I'm going to attach a salt vest to Vanillux. Okay, now I'll read what it does, please. <clears throat> Any damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them is reduced by 40 after oh. applying weakness and resistance. Okay. And then I'm going to use Ambush, Flip Coin. If heads this attack does 30 more damage, it does not. It does 60 damage, 60 base damage only. Okay. He takes 10 for poison. Yep. All right, Energy Crush, Beer Take is knocked out. I take a prize card. Okay. You have to immediately advance. you my card. Uh, I have my turn. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, energy crush. 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. So 20 times one is 20 plus I have two of these. Your team power connect. Your team plasma Pokemon's attacks, excluding Deoxys EX, do 10 more damage to the active Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. So that's 40. 40, I have two of them. Oh, okay. They stack. Because they don't say that they don't stack. Interesting. Potion. I mean, Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, Pokeball, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Flip a coin, if heads, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Tails. I do not. Okay. So, therefore, I am my turn. 
All right. Uh, energy crush, he's knocked out. I take a prize card. Silly me, I have resistance to water, but I didn't read that earlier. Well, it'll help now. Mm -hmm. What am I always saying, Jay? Read your cards. cards carefully. Read your cards carefully. I mean, beat, but it doesn't do anything, so. Okay, yep, no, no net damage. <laughs> I mean. Okay, energy crush, 40 damage. Yes. Potion, heal 30 damage. Okay. Sage's training. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose any two cards you find there. And put them into your hand. Discard the other cards. Okay. Love you, bro. Love you too, bro. I attack, but it doesn't do anything. Correct. It does not do any net damage. I'm going to go ahead and attach this grass energy to this Deoxys EX. Um, energy crush, 40 damage. Nope. 60. Two, four, 60 damage. There we go. Evo Soda. Fountain. Attach two basic energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon. I obviously can't do that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so it only does 10 damage because of Neil's resistance on his Pokemon. And it does 30 base damage. Okay. Cool. All right. That's an interesting attack. Okay. Interviewers' questions. Look at the top eight cards of your deck. Choose as many energy cards as you like, show them to your opponent, and put them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the main thing I like about interviewers questions is that it does not say basic energy cards. So I'm going to take both of these, put them into my hand, shuffle the other cards <clears throat> back into my deck. I am going to attach this plasma energy to this Deoxys EX. <clears throat>
And then I'm going to use Energy Crush again, He's which does out. 60... 120 plus the 10. Yep, he is knocked out. Thank you. I take a prize card. And I need to shuffle. Okay, I draw a card. And then... I end my turn. Well, that's game. Yeah, I only have one prize card left. Oh. No, it's really not. Because I have 10 HP left after you attack. Uh, no you don't. Double colorless energy. Not anymore. Leaf blade, 60 damage. He is knocked out. All right, nice, nice, nice. There we go. Yes. That was my Team Plasma deck, and I have been looking forward to trying it out. Hi, and thank you for watching our video. We are Higher Education. Play, learn. Read your cards carefully. He's knocked out. Colorless, dragon. The middle Fairy era is 2002 to 2013. Good game.